The 3D Print Lab is a place where students can submit 3D prints and pick them up and also stop by and learn about the 3D printing process. The Imagine Lab is uh, what we call our sort of VR lab. And that's sort of, I, I like to think of it as an agile lab that's kind of focused on emerging technologies and education. The CNC Lab is a computer-aided kind of cutting and carving machine that works on a full scale. So we deal with four foot by eight foot sheets of material, and we can kind of cut those and carve those in different ways, moving from digital designs to physical objects. The laser cutting lab um, across the hallway from the CNC lab is also focused on digital to physical workflows. So students take digital drawings essentially and are able to immediately cut those out out of a variety of different materials. And then this lab, the Make Lab, I would say is kind of our, our newest and most generous workspace. We do a lot of woodworking in here. We do a lot of metalworking. We do machining. We have welding equipment. We have band saws and vacuum formers and 3D printers and drill presses. And we really try to stress what we call the five C's in these spaces, which are community and collaboration and creativity and curiosity. And finally, competencies. So students are really kind of learning to use the equipment in here and learning to work together. I brought my biochemistry class down to the Imagine Lab in order to allow them to visualize the large molecules that we study in three dimensions. I think what students got from looking at the molecules in virtual reality is a better understanding for the fact that they are actually three-dimensional objects because they're always looking at them either on paper or on a computer screen. And so by exposing students to the same software that pharmaceutical companies use, that gives them an advantage in the marketplace because they're already familiar with the software. So I brought my class here today to make their own little felt creations. So we brought some raw wool and we went through the process just as the Mongols not only did before, but many of them are still doing today. I've been working with Cole to find a good space to do this because it requires lots of soap and water and it can get kind of messy. Obviously, we can't do it in a classroom. He also cut some wooden dowels for us so we could roll our felt and, and make it into the kind of uh, tough cloth that the Mongols use and that we're gonna use for our coasters and bookmarks and trivets. Today we are here doing the bending machine. We use a milling machine to make a hole on the part and students get to have the chance to make the real part. It really gives our students a good chance to do some handy work. Union College is very interdisciplinary, so every student, even for the art students, they can use our lab. Uh, even the people do the mathematics, they have their, their really nice uh, design. They, they can do the, our course to do the solid design, and they do the 3D printing, they do the machining in our lab. It's a resource for everyone. I think there are a lot of tools and resources here at Union and the Maker Web that, that students might not find on other campuses. I would say the first one really probably has to do with just the broad range of tools that we have. We offer everything from, you know, kind of simple woodworking tools to metalworking tools to advanced kind of machining equipment and spanning the digital to the analog. So we have industry standard, you know, kind of 3D printing technology, CNC technology. I also would say that, you know, we, we offer a ton of different softwares in the Maker Web, so we pay for kind of subscriptions so that students have the sort of most advanced kind of design softwares uh, to create their projects. And finally, I think that the infrastructure that we create around training is pretty unique. So we have a website that has tons of different tutorials and learning portals and guides and, and things to get almost any student started. As part of the Scholars Program, we do something called a Sophomore of Each List Project. And it's meant to be an uh, independent study where you do something sort of in line with your major. For mine, I decided to combine history and engineering so I could get that interdisciplinary connection. And uh, I built a historical carriage for a Civil War cannon. One of the things I love about Union is that everybody's pretty approachable here. I talked to Rob, one of the machinists over there. He took me aside and he showed me how to do tape welding. And people will take time out of their day to show you how to use materials. Everybody's pretty approachable, and that's pretty much just how you learn in the machine shop. For my group's ESC 100 project, we wanted to create a automatic pill dispenser and pill crusher. The way that it worked is there was an IR sensor on the side that would activate a pill crushing component, and we had to add in some little liners to make the holes the right shape to fit just one pill. 
So I would come in here, print something, take maybe half an hour, go back over to the make lab, test it out, figure out if it was gonna work or not. If it wasn't, I'd come back, redesign, reprint, and then go try it again. So if I didn't have access to this lab, our project would have been a whole lot harder because uh, we really needed to be able to get those rapid prototypes out and tested. These are really kind of spaces of belonging and inclusion um, with just a ton of resources here. And uh, what we really do is we try to flatten learning curves. So regardless of your skills, regardless of your background, these are definitely places that you can just literally walk into and get started. I think the other thing that's really exciting about the maker space is that these are not just places where people make prototypes and build things, but these are places where people make connections and they build relationships. So the makerspace is really a campus-wide resource like Reamer, like Schaefer Library. So if you have an idea or you have a project or you're just curious about a process or a material or a tool, definitely stop by and ask someone and let's build something.